It's a story that I've been thinking about and working on for a really long time. The characters have become very real to me. You know, one of the ways that I write is I try to do as much as I can to breathe as much pneuma and life into them as possible. And then I put those characters in situations and then see what they would do and what they say, and then I just write that down. So I begin to know these characters. You know, for me, it's, it was really important to try to create very strong female characters. It's not just, you know, make sexy ladies, and they have something that they're really trying to do and say with their actions. They discover things about the world we live in that I think none of us really want to acknowledge. And as opposed to running off and, and, and crying and hiding and, and just trying to obtain money and riches, and you know the white picket fence and, and so forth. They say no. Well, we're we're going to f to rail against it. We're going to fight. We're going to attempt to make change occur, even if it's just uh, in the in the sphere around me. We're not going to we're not going to be cattle. We're not going to be sheep. Um, we choose to stand up. Memory Collectors Issue 1 will be available October 30th uh, at the end of this month, uh, just in time for Halloween. And Memory Collectors Issue 2 is now available for pre-order. Now, I wanted to talk a little bit about pre-orders. For creator-owned books, it's literally uh, everything. Going to a comic store, any local comic store, and pre-ordering a book is like buying 12 off the shelf. It is huge. A lot of times, pre-orders determine the amount of books printed, um, it's just kind of the way that Diamond and a lot of publishing companies work. Uh, if this is an industry that you want to get into, that you want to you want to you want to work in, um, pre-ordering comic books, especially creator-owned comic books, definitely uh, widen the market for you to be able to do that. The more creator-owned books that are sold, uh, the more publishers are going to be interested in doing books that aren't your standard thing. Um, pre-ordering is like a vote; it's your way of telling the distributors and the publishers, the kind of books that you're interested in. Um, and it's even way, a way of saying, I'm interested in books that aren't you know, common books. So please, if you get the opportunity, uh, go to a local comic store, pre-order Memory Collectors 2. It literally gives us uh, the ability to make more books. To everyone that did pre-order Memory Collectors Issue 1, truly thank you. And please go out and pre-order Issue 2. Um, again, you can do that from any local comic store in the world. The other thing I'd like to mention is that Ben Templesmith will have a six-page story in the back of issue two. He also has an incentive cover that you can get from, again, from pre-ordering it. Issue two is when the story really starts to, to uh, move into its own thing, because issue one had to be more or less an introduction to what was going on. I'm very proud of it, and I can't wait to see what you guys think of it. So thank you, everyone who's gone out and pre-ordered it. Thank you.